guys, it's Molly. Um, I started this channel about, oh lord, when I was like 14 and it started out as music and then it went to uh, makeup and I have since started a mom channel since I found out I was pregnant in September with my daughter. We are due May 22nd, yay, little girl named Auburn, Auburn Croy. So I've had a wonderful time trying to find stuff for her and shop for her and pretty much my whole life now involves my baby. <laughs> I am currently 30 weeks, 29 actually, I'll be 30 on Tuesday. So I have had a ball thrift shopping and finding all this cute stuff for her and you know, just being all about being a mommy. And the first time I have no kids, but we do have two dogs and a cat and a lizard <laughs> and my husband, he counts as a pet too. <laughs> but I wanted to kind of gear this channel towards my type of mothering, which is not so much crunchy, but more so just natural and aware of what I'm, you know, putting on her and what I'm buying and who I'm buying it from and how much I'm spending. So my whole channel is going to basically be around being a thrifty mom. My mom was always a thrifty mom. She would go out and find all kinds of stuff at thrift stores, super cheap, and I love it. It's my favorite hobby. So with that being said, the first video on this channel is gonna be about my favorite haul so far from the thrift stores. I have gotten so many pieces for so little money and they're brand new. Most of them still have the tags on them. Some of them don't. Some of them are a little uh, are a little bit, you know, worn quality. Of course, you find that with thrift clothes. But for the price that you would pay for something new, like newborn pants, are seven dollars for two pairs, which doesn't sound like much unless you're like us and you're a one income household. We live in a very if you hear claws clicking, it's my little dachshund. <laughs> but we live in a very um, rural town, and. <laughs> And it's all about saving money and being a, you know, fruitful couple on one income because it's, it is actually very expensive to live where we live. We live in Virginia. Hi, buddy. And it's the, the quality of life is worth the price, I think. But getting into that with us being a one income family and me wanting to stay home with my daughter and homeschool her go lay down buddy <laughs> my dogs are crazy but um with me wanting to homeschool my daughter and be you know the major hand in her upbringing we had decided to be a one income family and that's very very hard to do nowadays so my channel being geared towards being a thrifty mom is not just out of you know, it's fun, but it's also out of financial need. And I know a lot of families that are one income households that have children because it doesn't really make much sense to send your entire paycheck to a sitter unless that's what you like to do. But for us, I'm sorry, pregnancy bell, but for us, it makes more sense to, you know, save money where we can and spend more on our daughter's experiences and her education than we do on her clothes or her diapers. I'm a cloth diaper mama. A lot of my friends are cloth diaper mamas and I'll do a video on my stash thanks to a friend of mine who actually sent me hers. And I do a cloth diaper. I planned a natural birth in, a, in either a birthing center or a home birth. I haven't decided yet. Um, I thrift shop. Um, I try to, I'm not so much into the cooking with natural elements, but I, I like to be aware of what goes on my kids. So I don't do any, you know, harsh medicines. Um, we're still researching, you know, vaccines and stuff, what's appropriate and what we need to wait on and do more research. So if you're that kind of mom, you're going to love this channel. All of my friends are, you know, natural mamas too. We all come from, you know, I guess what you call, you know, southern backgrounds or country backgrounds. So we're all very down to earth type of people. And we all love to go through shopping together. And we all love to basically, 
we get together in little groups and go, oh, you got that for this amount? Well, check out what I got for this. You know, it's a huge fun game for us and we get a thrill out of finding the best stuff that we can for the littlest price. So with this video, this is my top rated haul. And some of the stuff isn't exactly my favorite, but I like it because of what I got. So we're going to get into that. So first off, I go, we have like four Goodwills between here and a 20 mile radius. We typically go once or twice a week if we have the extra money. And I might spend five or six bucks and have a bag stuffed like this. So a lot of this stuff is stuff that I've picked up that a lot of people won't think of for baby showers, like little pants and sleeper gowns. And most of the people just want to buy cute outfits, which is fine and we're very appreciative of. But the stuff that we need for just lazing around the house, I buy that there because it's cheaper. And if they ruin it, who cares? I paid 50 cents for it. So let's get into that. So these first few outfits aren't my favorite outfits in the world. But they're stuff that I liked because it was, you know, it looked super clean and super new. And... I liked it because it had elements of what I wanted, like zippers and um, I don't like pink. I'm not a pink person. So my little girl is yellow crazy, like deep florals and oh yeah, everything she has is either yellow or some form of pink that's not, oh my gosh, hot puke pink. So these are little stuff that I picked up because of that. So this first little one. It's so cute. I love ducks. I showed ducks in FFA and oh my god, they're just so close to my heart. But I think that this little sleeper, brand new, 50 cents, little duckies and birdies on it. I love that it's got the snap on the top. I hardly ever use them, but I like it to cover up the zipper. And not to mention if you're hanging it and you don't feel like zipping it, you can just snap the top. My dogs are so noisy. But anyway, and then it's got the zipper from top to foot. Which is really important to me because with cloth diapering, it's a lot of jostling around. So if you have to do an overnight diaper change, which with cloth diapers, you don't have to do as much. But if they're uncomfortable, I like to do it, you know. This is my first baby, but I've raised, you know, several between friends, cousins, you know, ex-boyfriends that had kids. You know, it's that we're in that type, a type of millennial here. So, but this is zero to three months and I picked it up for 50 cents. No stains, no nothing. The feet aren't even worn in. So we got, I, I thought I love stuff like that. The second thing I got is one of these little onesies, brand spanking new. And a lot of the times you don't get stuff either, you get all newborn and no bigger sizes or you get no newborn at all and all bigger sizes. So I've kind of been piecing together certain things that, you know, I knew I would need. So these little onesies for 50 cents a piece aren't bad, especially if they're brand new. So this little one I thought was adorable. It's not necessarily my taste. Normally what I, put, what I would put on her is what I'd put on me. If I wouldn't wear it, I'm not going to put it on her. But if it's cute and it's functional, then whatever. So this little one, this is from onesies brand. Um, the other one was Gerber brand, zero to three months. And this one's onesies brand. And this is newborn five to eight pounds. So if she's on the tiny side when she's born, then I'll have at least, you know, a couple things that will fit her. This one here is baby gear brand, three to six months. And super new looking, not even worn. The tag looks like it's barely even, you know, been worn one time and washed. And it's a little bit wider, which is nice for cloth diapering because a lot of the onesies are long and thin. But if you're going to cloth diaper, you're going to have a little bit more thickness than you will with a disposable. So having these wider ones gives a lot more room for milk bellies, which are so cute. And then this little top I bought, this is Health Text, which is I think Walmart brand, but I just thought it was cute. So I had to get it because she's going to be born in May or May or June, depending on how far along she goes. But this little top was so cute. I love summer tops. They're adorable and she's going to be, you know, out with us at the pool or out working with us at the farm in the ergo carrier on the front of me. So her daddy is so excited to take her fishing with him. So she's going to need more summery clothes than anything. Um, this next little one is a tank top onesie and it's Carter's and this one's six months 
and I thought it was so cute. Little tank tops and little cherries and it's green so it's not like, oh my god, more pink. Oh, I think if you have a lot of girls in your family, you get sick of pink really quick. So the next thing I got were these little pants and brand new condition. These are Gerber brand zero to three months. And they are so tiny and so cute and I'm so excited to put them on her. But just a little polka dots, you know, they can match a blank onesie or whatever. And those are pretty expensive when you buy them separate. So getting them for 50 cents is a steal. I got every piece in this lot for 50 cents and you're gonna see why this is my top rated one here in a minute. But then I got this little set here with a little hat and little pants and look at the feet. They're so cute. They're tiny. I don't know if my, because uh, we have big feet in my family. <laughs> so I don't know if her little feet are going to fit in these, but they are so cute. And I love pants or sleepers with feet on them because I hate socks. And I know my kid's going to hate socks. My husband hates socks. So it's just, it's just going to be, you know, a sock hating family. So now we're going to get into why this is my favorite. So I picked up all this stuff and I walked away. And they have everything in these big bins all together. And I came back and I was looking at the boy stuff for my nephew, who is about to be five months. Well, I, I'm standing there going through this stuff, and the woman that's the attendant at Goodwill says, Hey, ma'am, these are some really cute outfits. I turn around, and she's got brand spanking new Carter's outfits still on the hanger with the Carter's tag still on them. And I'm thinking, oh, she's not going to throw those in the 50 cent bin. You know, they'll be like two or three bucks, which I still would have bought them. But she goes, oh, no, they're 50 cents. This is what I got for 50 cents. First off, this one's missing an outfit, but it's still worth 50 cents because it's brand new. Rebel Honey Hush. Doxy problems. <laughs> but anyway, nine month size. It's so cute. It's brand new from Carter's in size nine month. And how, oh my gosh, how precious. And, you know, it's just, I couldn't believe it for 50 cents for brand spanking new clothes. And I've been paying 50 cents for ones that, you know, have been worn and washed a couple times. So finding ones that are brand new, oh my gosh, I was so excited because that never happens for one thing. If it does, it's very rare. And just to find this much stuff that's brand spanking new, this is why it's my top rated haul because this is the one I got the most um, high off of because that's what I do. I like to find stuff that's brand spanking new condition and see how cheap I can get it. That's the thrill of thrift shopping. So the next outfit I got, still on the hanger. This is, um, this is a boutique. So it's by Baby by Bon Bebe. So it's one of those French boutique companies. And it's a small three to uh, three to month or uh, zero to three months up to twelve pounds. Look how cute this is! Oh my goodness, it has duckies on the feet and it's brand new, absolutely brand new. Tag still on it for fifty cents. I guarantee this outfit was like thirty dollars, brand new in a boutique. It's got a ducky on the butt. It's so cute. And then it's got a little ducky up here. And it says cutie. Oh my gosh, I died. I, I died. I grabbed everything that was on a hanger. I didn't care what size it was. I just picked it up because it was new. And if my daughter can't wear it, my nephew can. So then the next thing I picked up was this little outfit. 50 cents, brand new, Carter's tag still on it, four piece set. You get the little duckies with the little foot. It has, it has the snaps, which I'm not a big fan of, but it, for 50 cents it'll work brand spanking new and these are Carter size six months and then it comes with uh this is the sleeper and then it comes with the hat the ducky onesie and the little pants with duckies on the feet and they have the and that's the foot built in which I still like so for 50 cents that is outstanding because if you buy Carter's outfits these things are like Anywhere from $12 for one piece to $48 for sets like this, especially if you buy them at Sears. I buy mine at Ross, but whatever. <laughs> I'm not bougie. But then the same outfit in nine months, same concept, same outfit, you know, sleeper, pants, onesie, 
hat. This entire haul, not kidding you, $6.45. $6.45 with tax. I was elated. Like, I'm not, I don't know about you guys, because I know some people are, you know, crazy about it being used. But to me, it's like once they wash it once, it's used anyway. So if you go by that logic, then you have to buy your kid new clothes after every wash or after every wear. <laughs> so the fact that I got all of those clothes for $6 and some, uh, most of it was brand new. And not to mention the fact of if you bought each piece separately, I probably would have spent $70. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. So, I have tons more clothes. But I wanted to film this because if I filmed all the clothes I bought in one video, it'd be an hour long. But I wanted to show you guys, you know, what you really can get while you're thrift shopping. Because it's not always just, you know, junky old grandma clothes and stained up stuff. You see a lot of that. But if you really know what to look for and you pick what you... You have to go in with an idea. I go into a Goodwill and I think, okay, I want all Carters. I want brand new to lightly used. I do not buy anything that is a condition that I cannot walk into Once Upon a Child and resell it for more than I bought it for. That's my trick, you know. If I go in and buy something, I buy a brand new pair of pants and she never wears them. I paid 50 cents. I take them into Once Upon a Child and they'll give, you know, one or two dollars for a piece. So depending on which one you go to. Some of them pay more, some pay less. But if I can't resell it for consignment, then I don't buy it. That's my trick. That's my trick to getting amazing stuff for super cheap that I don't lose money on. So that being said, I'm going to film more um, thrift haul videos. And I also am going to be doing my birth center bag, my more Goodwill hauls, what I end up with getting at my baby shower, and my cloth diaper stash. So, if you guys have any videos that you'd like me to do, you can comment below and let me know. Um, and before you leave, if you want, you can uh, go down there and subscribe, because I would love it. It would make my day. I am a stay-at-home wife, and I have nothing else to do with my time. So, <laughs> until my baby gets here, and then I'm going to be busy. But mostly, it's just me and the poochies, and we just... This is what we do. We baby shop and yeah. <laughs> so go down and subscribe and um, comment with whatever you'd like to see me do. Um, if you have any questions about cloth diapering, natural birth, you know, where I find the best deals on stuff, anything like that, feel free to message me or feel free to comment and I will answer any questions that I can. And thanks for watching. Bye.